we are here with uh, Guilherme Criscuolo, a uh, great friend, a brother. Um, he's a Prezi expert and founder of Next Interactiva. And he is a three times winner of the Prezi Awards for educational, for the educational category uh, in 2013, for best overall design in 2014, and um, 2018 was four. Yeah, no, 2018 was most innovative use of the two. Excellent. When you created that spectacular game with Prezi, which is can be a, as used as certification where you ask questions and so on, I will make sure to add that Prezi to 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 the article and the lesson uh, once we are done because it, it's amazing. So thank you for inviting me for this master class. I'm happy I can share um, a little bit of my knowledge and. Today, especially, we are going to talk about Prezi video. Let's go. Yeah, cool. So Prezi video, it's a tool that allows us to show the content in the, in the screen side by side with the presenter. Something like this, right? Wow. We can have, yeah. So basically, I can have my presentation here, the content on the screen. And I can still be here in my camera, so I can keep my eye contact uh, and can keep the human connection while I present my, my content, right? Well, basically, it works the same way as a regular Prezi, a Prezi presentation. The presentation here, it's clickable, it's non-linear, so I can just click in one of these four topics I have here. For example, I click here in brand, and I can freely navigate through my presentation. And well, you can get very creative when we are using Prezi video, but there is some uh, important things to consider when we are creating, we are designing a Prezi that will be used in the video format. Would like to just jump in in the Prezi editor and show the difference. I would like to share yep. some presentations that we created both versions, the regular and the video versions. And then I will I show think. all the things that I considering, I consider it when doing the conversion. So basically, when you are creating a presentation inside Prezi to be used as a video, it's actually the same features. The, the biggest difference is how to position your content in the screen. I will show right. here, I have the same presentation. This was a regular Prezi about the importance of human interaction. And it's actually, uh, well, we are talking about an online society, so it's actually related to what we are uh, talking about, right? It's also um, related to what we were talking before uh, starting this session about uh, your Dora being born just when the when the pandemic was starting, right? And yes. How and how and how the coming society is. Uh, is going to be influenced by this and, and find um, interactions online much more comfortable than we used to, right? Yeah, and I, yes, especially because I think that the online environment, especially after the pandemic, it's a new reality. I think that a lot of businesses will migrate to an online structure. There's a lot of reasons for that. First thing, it's more comfortable. Uh, a lot of people, depending what they do, they are more productive working uh, remotely. And it's also less expensive because you don't need to rent a big office uh, to accommodate your company. There's a lot of advantages. And also you can 
you can work with people from now around the world. Yeah, there is a lot of advantages, uh, not forgetting the environmental uh, impact that, yes. uh, that we not having to drive around all day and, and, and the time. I don't know, I, I, I live in Brooklyn and when I get to go to the city to, to work with a client, a big chunk of that time goes into traveling while I could be using that same time to help the client. Correct. Yes. And so it's a thing that we are going to have more and more online meetings in the early future, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the idea of a price video is to try to have the same human connection, well, as close as possible to a uh, in-person meeting. Well, basically it's what this presentation is about. We are not really going to talk about the content, but the idea is to show the difference of the, how the presentation was designed. So basically here, this is the, the, the version that was used for the regular <laughs> presentation the screen, you can see that all the elements and all the design is distributed through the entire screen. We are using this, the entire screen here. Mm -hmm. And when we navigate, yeah, through the entire presentation, we use the entire screen, of course. Uh, we leave some white space in the borders and so. But basically, this is the classic way of creating a presentation, right? Well, as we it is a present, we, right. we, we try to keep always a visual connection between topic, between one screen and the next one. So for example, here, right. we, we always have an element that is visible in both, both screens. So we have this visual connection. This is something really important we consider when we are creating a Prezi presentation. And the same thing we do with a Prezi video. Like this is the same version, the same presentation, the same content, but in the video format. Basically, we just need to create all the frames exactly as, as I do in a regular presentation, but we have to leave some empty space that will be used uh, by the presenter. Uh, do you have parameters that we can follow to decide, to define where and how much space to leave? Like, for example, I see that in this case, you left about half of the screen uh, for the presenter. The first thing you have to consider is the content. If, if you have a lot of content in the screen uh, to be shown at the same time, I mean, you have two options. The first one is the one that I recommend is to break down this screen in more screens. So you, right. I recommend using half of the screen for the presenter and half of the screen for the content. Mm -hmm. So when you have a lot of content, the first option is, and my favorite is to break down in more frames and in different screens so we can keep uh the same proportions half for the presenter and half for the content but if you have a situation that you cannot break down the content in most more screens so you have a lot of information on the same screen i would say two thirties for the content and one thirty for the presenter yeah and also if you have a very simple presentation that you have just keywords on the screen uh you can use 130 for the content and 230 for the presenter. Of course, right. there are some different situations. You have to consider the distance that the presenter will be from the camera. Uh, for example, for some presentations, maybe the presenter wants to be uh, to be in full body on the screen, very far from the camera, and mm -hmm. add some elements to interact with. Some others just want to sit down close to the computer screen. So you just, you just see their face. 
So what you say is that if I stand farther from the camera, I will have more, more room for content. Yes, because when you are far from the camera, our body is smaller, vertical, right? But if I'm getting very close to the camera and that's how I want to work, then I, I, I need to consider that when creating a disposition. I use like a, where, I, where I'm visible in camera, but there is enough room for the content. Of course, I could also stand on a side uh, and use that layout. But I can actually yes. tie, uh, be on center and, and, and have the content on the side, right? Yes, it really depends on the content. So uh, I cannot say to always use the same proportion. Uh, what I would say is to really consider everything. Consider the presenter preference, consider the content, consider your, the audience and everything. Well, it's, right. it's as important as the design of the presentation the proportion between presenter and, and content. So here you are uh, showing the edit screen for a normal Prezi. This is right. the Prezi with uh, the full uh, content. And what you are doing now is through the Prezi edit screen, by clicking on create a video, you are going to work while looking at yourself on the camera, right? And yes. for everybody to understand, uh, Guilherme, you can only, you can only, when you are on your computer, you can only broadcast one camera feed. So Guilherme turned off his zoom camera. So when he uh, enables the camera on the, on the Prezi edit screen, he will be able to. Go ahead. Yeah. So I just click here on create video to enable my camera. I will right. allow my camera here. And this is what happens. This presentation was not designed to be used as a video. So you see that the content is overlaying my face. You can also see an image here, right? That we it's use. Like a transparency, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, correct. We used that image in the original presentation to, well, to be part of the, the cover of our presentation. Right. So yeah, the presentation was not designed to be used as a video. So you see, if I try to do it, the content will overlay my face and it will be worse than just sharing my screen. You have here an option to adjust the content. If I click here, Prezi will do an automatically, but you see, it didn't change too much. It just moved the topics to the right. And this, you see, some texts are really small. Now, uh, let me ask you a, a couple of follow-up questions here. When you use the option adjust content, uh, Prezi will arbitrarily send all the content that it can uh, to a side. Is that for the screen you're working on that particular time or for the full presentation? For the full presentation. Okay. You see, all the all the screens were adjusted like that. The best way for doing this is to recreate the presentation in a way it's adjusted for a present video use. But the first thing we had to adjust was to change the image for the cover. So we use it the same concept. Um, a group of people that they are in the same room, but the main image is transparent and you have some browsers where you highlight right. people's face. So the, the idea behind it is to use a virtual environment to try to simulate they are in the same, mm -hmm. in the same space, the same room, the same experience as meeting in person, right? The image we chose for the regular version, it's, it was horizontal oriented. So first thing I had to, to do was to find the same concept, but an image that's vertical oriented. As it's, right. as we are using just one side of the screen, the, the proportions are different. 
Yeah, then if, if you have go... a horizontal image in the in the normal Prezi, and you need to find a vertical uh, display for the for the Prezi video, right? Yes. Yes. Correct. But then here you can see the difference for the content. I, I mean, you see that it's still the same presentation, right? It's just organized it in a different way. So we have right. free space here for the presenter. Excellent. Yeah, this and this. Some important things to consider. If you look here at the original presentation, you see that we have some texts text box that were placed directly over the background, right? Right. In press video, we never do that. We always add an element like a shape behind the text. Why we do that? Because we never know how the background of the presenter will be. Right, unless unless you uh, agree, unless you have yeah. a conversation with the presenter and say, okay, you, I will always have a white background or a dark background, so you can Correct. play with that. But that, but that limits uh, how the present, how the present video can be used because you yes. will always need a dark background, for example. Yeah. Okay, so I would do the same thing here. I would click on create a video. Now we are in the version that were designed thinking, especially for the press video use. So I create, click and create video and I will allow my camera. And you can clearly see the difference, right? Now I have this free right. space to um, uh, gesticulate to use the screen and all the content is organized in one side of the screen. Well, what I talk about the text box always having a background behind it is to avoid things like that. If I just place my right. text floating in the background, for example here, uh, well, the light is making my skin very white. So you cannot read this part of the text, right? Mm -hmm. And even if you were not that white, uh, it will be difficult to read anyway. We never, yeah. For example, here, if we don't, if we didn't have this, you see, in my background, I have some picture frames. Uh, yeah, it's it becomes impossible to read the content. So for all the text box, uh, I always add a shape, something to give more contrast. Contrast and then the text will be easier to read. Uh, let me ask you a question based on the different implementations of Prezi Video that you have done and that, and that I have done. Um, what is your experience when it comes to the, to the size of the text? Like, um, because there is people that will be watching, let's say that you are presenting on Zoom to, yep. 10 different people that are geographically distributed and some of them have a tablet, some of them are on a laptop and, and, and some of them are on a phone. Have you found a way to get to a compromise between all the screen sizes when it comes to the size of the text or the visibility the, the, of the content? Yes. Well, this is a problem that we also, not a problem, but a, a challenge that we also have with a regular pres presentation, right? When you are sharing a screen, even mm -hmm. if you are not using press video and show your camera at the same time, but if you are just sharing the screen, you always have to avoid small texts. Not even for mobile, for people that are watching on, on mobile, but uh, even in computers, if you are, if you have a text that is small, I think it would be hard to read. So, like, like websites. Well, it's hard to to say because when we are talking about Prezi, we don't we don't have like points to control the size of the text, right? Right, and we don't, and uh, and neither we have the option to dynamically set uh the the size of the text based on the device like yeah, we for don't... a website 
you can say on mobile phones show the text at 10 points and uh, on on desktop show the size at eight points we cannot do that with Prezi, right no you cannot so yeah the recommendation is to use less text as possible as you're going to to talk while you are presenting your your speech should replace the text right you can use the, right right the, the presentation just for keywords i mean the, the the visuals just for keywords and visual metaphors just for the audience guillermo is sharing the screen while uh also sharing with the video on so it's normal for the system to lag because the video is on a loop for yeah. Guillermo. When and you also are I have with Prezi video, this this doesn't happen. No, yes. And also I have a lot of presentations open and here in new tabs, right. a lot of memory right, consuming. Right. Okay, so when you really need to use uh, some text as the content of your presentation, the recommendation is always to try to find a balance, a balance. not make it so big, but try to do a test. Try try to read the text from some distance, like five five meters, and then we can mm -hmm. you can test if you still can read it or not. Right. So take a take a distance and see if you can still read, read the text. Or try the presentation uh, before presenting to the public, your audience, your stakeholders, or prospects. Uh, watch the presentation yourself on different devices to make sure yes. that all your content is clear uh, again in different different setups. device yes right. yes I agree good well another presentation about remote teams right basically the same thing here on the left we have the regular version the regular press on the right we have the press video Mm -hmm. So, as you can see here, we use the full screen to distribute the content. Uh, our biggest difference here is that we made the computer much smaller. And instead of having the, the title inside the computer screen, we added a box here. Well, you remember what I said about, the, about always having a shape behind the, the text? The text. Yeah, maybe you would say, okay, but you don't have a shape behind how companies are, but I actually do. If I zoom in, you can see that I have a, a yellow shape. It's, it's the same. You have it, and it's the same color as the background. So yes. when you look at the presentation like that, you don't see, uh, you don't see um, the box behind the, the color box behind the text because it's, it's the same color as the background. Yes, nice. correct. But it's here. And then here I will just go frame by frame just to show the difference. Can you enable the camera for the one on the right? Right, yes. Yes, but I will need to open it in edit mode. So let me just click here again, create video, continue. I don't need to adjust my content because it was, it was already designed. Already right. And then there you go here. So that's that's what I wanted to see. You have a solid color background for that presentation, uh, but when you present with Prezi Video, that solid color background is not seen. Is that what Prezi Video does? And if you have a picture in the background, will Prezi Video also ignore that background? Yes, actually, we have a picture here. We have a very opaque word map here. So it can answer mm -hmm. your question. Here, we are using a picture as the background. Same thing here. Uh, we have a picture. If I click here in background, you can see that we have a picture. But yeah, press if you do ignores uh, your background. Your, Even if all, it's all a your picture. background settings, both color and, uh, and an eventual picture. Colors, uh, gradients, and pictures. It okay. will ignore anyway. Right. Okay, you can see that the screen here on the side on the right side is smaller, but it's because I, I am on edit mode, so we have this sidebar here. Right. But you can compare mm -hmm. them. I'll just show a few 
different screens to show the difference. So here, first thing, we organized all the content in the right, right of the screen. We added some shapes behind the text to make it readable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it just changed a little bit. It's just the position of the, just the position of the, the content. This is the only yeah. difference. Between... Basically, basically, you just need to make sure that you leave room for yourself. Or yes. For whoever is presenting, right? Yes, correct. And well, I would, I would just stop sharing my screen. I mm -hmm. will open another Prezi video just to show also that we can use complex graphics as well. This yes. was a presentation about the, the vaccines for COVID. It was designed mm -hmm. when the vaccines were being developed and showing the different technologies that could be used to develop vaccines. So basically right. you have a few topics here. It's a very visual presentation. We don't have a lot of text, we just have graphics. But the idea that is that we start to talk about what is COVID. First thing we people uh, make some confusion is that, well, the, the name of the, the virus is SARS-CoV-2. COVID-19 is the name of the disease, right? Coronavirus disease 2019. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Then here we, we talk about how the virus, well, they destroy the cells. And after they, they, kill, they kill the, the cells, they spread and they infect other uh, healthy cells. And then they kill more cells. They destroy the cells and they spread to infect the others. Right. And here we talk about how a human, when it's infected, start to try to block the virus. I, I would not give him a lot of details. Here. I know. I, I know that you are not a doctor and that you don't. But yeah, but it's very interesting. But it's very interesting how with images and you telling the story can make it so much more uh, amazing, comprehensive, uh, complete, where I can where, where I can see visuals, the visual metaphor, but I also have keep a connection with you. You are talking on screen, so I'm, I'm connected to you and you are telling the story, supporting that with visuals in a very specific way. This is amazing. Yeah, and we also can use different ideas. For example, here, uh, the person that used the presentation, I suggested something different, but the person didn't feel comfort, comfortable for doing that. But here, for example, when we are talking about the virus infect the body, instead of having a human body image here, I could just make the, the viruses appearing around myself. Right. Right, so I would really uh, interact with my content. But of course, you have to check with the presenter. In this case, the presenter was not comfortable to give in such a different presentation. It would be so, right. something right. just to show you that we have a lot of possibilities. Here we talk that. The prevention measures, it's yeah. great that you can talk about the different ways to prevent or to mitigate uh, the, the dispersion of, of the virus and that you can be telling that while at the same time keeping keeping yourself on screen and keeping the connection with your audience while at the same time using visual metaphor to uh to convey the message it's excellent yes yeah so the idea for the visuals was, was to show that they have a lot of technology apply it behind the development of the vaccines that's why we created this style Excellent. I like it very much. And I like how you use visuals to tell a story through visuals while, while you are actually telling that story. This is what I have to show today about press video. But of course, uh, I would be happy to answer any question you may have. Uh, Guilherme, thank you very much. This is amazing. Um, uh, thank you for investing the time uh, with me, 
for for our students and and we will probably ask you to do a follow up on this one yeah thank you for the opportunity i'm really happy to share something uh, some of my experience with you yeah thank you see you next time